What's up YouTube, it's Anthony here from CompSize Studio and welcome back to your 40 second Java programming tutorial. So in like the third tutorial or something like that, I taught you guys about data types. And I told you that the string data type was a little bit different than all the other ones that we learned. And um, basically I just said string was always with a capital S while all the other ones were all lowercase. Now the reason behind this is because string is actually a class that is pre-built in Java and it's essentially used as a variable. Now all the other ones are called primitive data types. Now that's just like a term that you guys gotta know. All you gotta know basically is that string is a class and all the rest of the data types are primitive data types. So as you guys remember whenever we made a class like the tomatoes class we had a bunch of methods in it. So that means that our string our string uh, variable, which is a class, must you must be able to call some methods on that variable. So I'm going to show you guys a couple little methods um, that you could call on your variables. Um, so first off, we have to make a string, obviously. So string name, and I'll set it equal to uh, what should we set it equal to? I love bacon. All right, and um, yeah. So let's just print something out, let's go s out, and then I'm going to call a method on our name variable. So to do that, all we have to go is, all we have to do is go name dot, and then there's a whole bunch of methods that you could call on it. I'm just going to be, uh, I'm just going to be showing you guys a couple little methods, like, um, let's do name dot two, oh, mess that up, dot two, uppercase. So you guys can kind of tell what this is going to do. It's going to take every single letter in the uh, string I love bacon and put it to uppercase and then print it out. Uh, so, yeah, let's just run that file. And as you can see, we get I love bacon all in capital letters. So, this is kind of handy if you guys were making like a big database for, I don't know, your business or something, and um, you were getting input from the user and you wanted to make sure all the names are consistently in the same case, um, you could use this method. Um, to put them all into uppercase when you save it into the database or something. So that's just like a little example. So there's obviously another one. So if we had a bunch of random ones in here like bacon, uh, capital V, capital I, and you didn't want all those just random uppercase letters, you could put them all to uppercase. Or there's even another method, uh, dot two, lowercase. So that puts all the uh, all the characters in that string to lowercase. Run that and. I love bacon. Um, so that's just a couple little methods that you can uh, use on your string variables. So that's only the only ones I'm going to be teaching you in this tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you a few more in the next tutorial. And so I hope you enjoyed this. If you guys liked it that much, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.